Welcome back. AAA predicting 4th of July travel will be at an all-time high this weekend. 43 million people expected to venture out at least 50 miles from home. Our Pete Zervakis spoke with some of them about the pros and cons of traveling around the holiday. Of the Americans traveling this weekend, more than 80% will take to the roads. Five long hours. That's how far Lauren Kennedy will travel this weekend. Her parents drove in from Minneapolis, and the family's now headed to Trigo, Wisconsin. We're just going up north for the family cabin. Dad's the driver. He'll do his best to avoid the traffic. County roads, if possible, and I got Google Maps here. <laughs> she sees red, turn here! AAA's Nick Jarmus says low gas prices are driving an increase in holiday travel. These are the lowest gas prices that we've seen for a summer driving season in over a decade. Calvin Williams and his wife have noticed. More affordable, a little bit easier, and not one kind of less thing to think about. They stopped in Mequon while driving from Lansing, Michigan, to northern Wisconsin for a family get-together. They've been doing this since she was a kid, and then, you know, I married into it. But others prefer a staycation. Joseph Martinez and his family will take in fireworks locally and head to Pewaukee Lake for a day. I don't like traffic. I don't like traffic jams. I avoid crowded airports at all, all possible. Jarmus calls the 4th of July the busiest summer travel holiday, but says it's not quite as big as Christmas or Thanksgiving. On I-43 near Locust Street, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. And according to AAA, you should expect heavy traffic through the weekend, but the worst times will be this afternoon and then once again on Monday afternoon.